back, relax, maybe get yourself a snack. Me and you gonna have a little chat about books. Hi guys, so I am here today to do a book review and the book that I'm going to be reviewing is book number one in the revised recast edition of the Chung Pao series by David Wingrove and this is called Son of Heaven. So a little bit of backstory about this series before I get started with the actual review. The series was originally published as eight books way back when and then David Wingrove, the author, felt like he wanted to revise the series and kind of change some things and split some books in half and develop them more and also introduce some prequels and sequels. So he was allowed by his publisher to kind of go back and revise it all and rewrite things and that series was due to be 20 books long. That's the series that I started reading. But unfortunately, the series was once again cancelled after the eighth book. So at the moment, even though it's the recast series, there's only eight books that are currently out. So there's eight books in the original series, eight books in the new series, but the new series has two prequel books. So the new series is not actually up to the ending of the first series. Hopefully you guys followed that because it's all a bit confusing. But essentially what I'm saying is this is a revised edition of an original series by David Wingrove. He's kind of taken it and changed things and done things to it to make it better and improve it and give it more substance. And unfortunately it was cancelled after book eight. So there's only eight books out, which means I don't know how the ending is. I don't know if it resolves or if it doesn't, if it's completely left on a cliffhanger. I've no idea because I haven't got to that one. But this is the first book in the revised edition series. So with all that said, let's get on with the review. <laughs> I have never read anything by David Wingrove prior to this, but I was instantly drawn into the story. I picked this up on my Kindle, not really knowing an awful lot about it, just because I found book number five, I think it was, in Waterstones, and there were none of the other books, none of the ones before book number five. So I went home, I looked it up on my Kindle, and I found the first one, and it was really cheap, I believe, so I picked it up. I really, really enjoyed the covers. I think the covers are really interesting. Going into this, I had no idea what it was really about. I didn't know if it was kind of fantasy or sci-fi. I didn't know which one it was going to be more of. I knew it was one of them. Now, having read the first book in the series, I would say it's more sci-fi based, but that's really cool because even though it is sci-fi based, it does seem to have such wonderful described stuff that it feels kind of like a fantasy anyway. It does have some dystopia mixed into it, it does have a kind of sci-fi dystopian feeling to it, that's more what I would class it as. And I will say that this feels like quite a light sci-fi, at least for the first book. I don't know if it gets more hardcore sci-fi as it goes on, but the first book definitely feels light sci-fi. We focus on this kind of dystopian world where something happened and the world has kind of gone into a medieval period again because some big event happened where all of the technology seems to have failed and no one can really communicate with each other, no one can travel very far, people live in these very isolated areas and communities and they travel to a market where people kind of bring their wares and they sell things. So there was technology, people know about technology, but at the moment there isn't really any technology available widely to people and no one really knows exactly what happened except for our main character who was a big part of it. David Wingrove's writing was really easy to connect to. I felt like it was a lot easier than some of the other sci-fis I've read and I felt like I slipped into the story really easily. The characterization was good and I felt like the world building was really good. It was very convincing as a kind of dystopian world. In the story we follow Jake Reed who's a member of a small community in a rather isolated part of England. So this story is based in England even though there's Chinese tie-ins. Jake is a very kind and careful character. He's got a young boy who is his son who he looks after and he's clearly a very valued member of the society. I found it very easy to connect with his character and involve myself in his story straight away. He was really easy to enjoy. I liked him even when he had to make hard choices. He's the father of Peter who is another one of our characters but his life was not always the way that it is now. He was involved in a lot of stuff that has to do with the big catastrophe so we learn a bit more about that as it goes on. Tom is another character that we follow, he is a friend of Jake's, he's got a lovely family, a lovely wife and he's got some daughters and they're all so loving and happy and even though they're in this kind of medieval-ish period again they just seem like a nice community of people, all friends, all get on really well. It seems like Tom has always been happy with his life and always enjoyed himself however as the story goes on we get to see more of the dangers of the world. There are guns and things like this that are still 
sometimes in use, some people have them, most people don't have them, and we see how the dangers of the world can kind of challenge even the nicest of men. He is a very kind soul, but when he gets into some trickier situations, we realise that there's more going on with him than it all first appears. Peter is Jake's son, and he's a very dear boy. He takes after his father, he's very conscientious and very careful. He's a leader by heart, by nature, and he knows a lot about what he wants from life despite only being 14 years old. He thinks he knows about what he wants for his future and what he believes in, and he's a great character to follow because he was born after the catastrophe, so he doesn't know a lot about it, which means that through his eyes we get to see how different his life is from that of his father's. The story itself is divided into three different parts. The first part we follow Jake and we follow some of the other members of the community as they venture towards the market to try and gather some supplies to kind of stock up for the winter months. They're on a dangerous journey, they don't really know what they're going to have to face along the way, whether they'll be bandits or things like this, and although news travels in this world, it travels a lot slower than when technology was readily available, so when they get to the market they find out some rather horrible, scary things about what might be going on with their world and how things might change in the very near future. The second part of the story focuses on Jake's backstory, we get to see him before the catastrophe, we get to see what he was doing, how the world was, because it was very evolved from what we have today. Um, there was a lot more science-y technology that was very cool and very exciting new discoveries. It was really interesting to see that backstory because up until this point I'd already enjoyed the characters, I'd already enjoyed the world, I'd already felt like I got to know them, but then seeing the backstory and seeing what happened and how drastically it changed from being this lovely utopian sort of society to this dystopian society when this catastrophe happened was really really interesting and I liked seeing Jake as he developed from that character into the one that we meet at the beginning. We get to see him with all of his hopes intact, we get to see what he wanted for the future and then we see how everything that seemed so perfect and so happy and lovely kind of all combusted and fell into ruin and catastrophe when this thing happened. Finally, part number three of the story, we get to see the two storylines kind of converge because we see the catastrophe and we see the modern day and we see how they kind of converge when something happens and we see a lot of different revelations and we see some drama and some dramatics going on and we meet a new nation of people as well who are potentially coming to ruin their day, let's say. We see political intrigue and manipulation, but we also see tests of loyalty and friendship within the community. I think the middle section was probably my favourite, although I really enjoyed both the first and the third. I still think the middle section was my favourite because we got to see the history of the world and it was very convincingly done. I, be I kind of believed it, even though it's a dystopian world, I believed that this was possible. So his writing is really convincing, which is great. And we get to see kind of events that lead up to the catastrophe as well, so that was good. Not just, oh, this thing happened. We sort of see the backstory of how it happened and what happened and over time, how did they notice it leading up to this and stuff like that. What did they try and do to prevent it? And I felt like that really solidified everything and made everything very convincing so that the events of the present day storyline were more solid and more believable. On the whole, I would say that this book was a great opening to the story. It feels like a prequel and it feels as though we're only just getting into things when it ends, but I still feel like it's a great story and I think his writing's excellent. I think the characterization was done really well. I think the world was very convincing. I don't understand why it got cancelled. I think it was just because there wasn't a big enough audience or people didn't know about it and pick it up. But it's very much a shame because I think it would have been a great series. I think I will continue on. I do already own the second one, so I'm hoping that I'll get to that sometime soon. And I would love to hear your thoughts on this series, whether you've read the original series or the recast series, which is what I'm reading, or if you've never heard of it before but you just want to let me know something about it, then please feel free to do so. I would love to hear all your comments. Thank you guys all for watching and I will see you all very soon in another video. Bye! Me and you gonna have a little chat.